this reward def deficiency term sort of umbrellas a bunch of different things, like, like Tourette syndrome, OCD, um, gam uh, compulsive gambling, <coughs> sex addiction, food addiction, all these things. So it was common among people to have this sort of a, um, you know, dysfunction in their reward circuit pathway where they were pathologically seeking reward. So it was really interesting. It wasn't just exclusive to, you know, alcohol and drugs. It, and what I found really interesting is that um, gambling addicts can have physical symptoms of withdrawal when they stop using, even though they're not taking a substance. They can have physical, you know, sweats, throwing up, those sorts of things. So people who had this genetic variant had a 74% greater chance of developing RDS. So this kind of really set the stage for the, the genetic component of addiction and pursuit of reward. So instead of calling yourself an addict or alcoholic, you could really say that you're reward deficient or that you have RDS. Or like restless leg syndrome. <laughs> so people with, you know, the theory behind it is kind of like um, constantly looking for something, like seeking something to fill your void, looking for a fix. So this is just why we, know, we all know about cross-addiction, those of us who work in the field, but the underlying drive to, to do, you know, to fill the void is very strong. And, you know, if you give up a drug or alcohol, it's kind of like, okay, what, what can I do now? Or, well, I'll get hooked on this relationship, or I'll start shopping and spending money, or eating, or, you know, it's like, this need to, to put that somewhere or, or fill that, that underlying deficiency. And some of the other theories about that is that people that have this may have a reduction in dopamine receptors, so kind of like not as much of an ability to feel pleasure from normal things as other people might. So kind of a reduced, uh, going through life, not really feeling it. Here's a little diagram of the reward circuit, some of the main structures in it, uh, the nucleus accumbens, which I mentioned. The amygdala is the brain's panic button, uh, the fight or flight response, and the hippocampus is the area responsible for